And we are back at World of Wheels. Now we are checking out the 509 Showbird and the owners of that car, Patty Bird, Rick Bird, and the builder of the car, Bruce Harvey, are all with me now. Uh, we, we need to start with Patty, though, because uh, the truth is, folks, Patty wrote all the checks. <laughs> uh, so t tell me about the process, Patty. Well, this car was found in a junkyard years ago over 40 years ago and it was we actually moved it when we built a new house so it just kind of went bruce saw it when he brought another car we had home and they did this partnership and this is what you have um, and rick tell me about that original car what what model car is it and that is a model a chevy 1931 chevy impendence and we found it in a junkyard, like she said. And we just brought it home. So. <laughs> and, Bruce, when you got your eyes on this thing, to you it was, uh, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it was essentially a blank canvas, and, and you, wanted to, you wanted to get after it. Yeah, we wanted to change every panel and do a bunch of stuff that's never been done before, and that's what we tried to do with this car, and uh, I think we pulled it off. Um, and uh, Caleb's going to start showing a little bit more of the car as you and I talk, Bruce, but... Um, Tell us about this Riddler Award. We talked to another competitor who was one of the finalists, but you it's got to be like this top secret thing. Nobody can know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, you got to keep it uh, undercover, but uh, it's been a dream of mine for 30 years, and to actually uh, you know, uh, make it happen, that was so real. I mean, it's unbelievable. And, and just so my audience understands, you, you sh take a picture of this thing, and it shows up on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or really pretty much any you drive it down the street you're done that's it right oh yeah you lose your chance and uh, you know putting that kind of hours and money into something like that and then have it see you know taken away like that yeah that'd be devastating um, and as we're looking at this car are there particular things about the project that you're proud of um, everything about it it's all one-off stuff I mean we started with the roof it's got the dip in the roof and that's something you never see on a coupe like that mm -hmm. and it follows through the trunk and the twin turbos you know they look like they're in the car you know hand-built scoop hand-built all, all the parts on the car are pretty much all one off now Rick um, you are adamant that when you got this project going you didn't want to have some car sitting in a in a in a garage somewhere. You wanted to drive it. I told Bruce when he built it, we'll take it to the shows, but I want to drive it. We're not going to leave it sitting in the garage and rust away there. <laughs> so, and I imagine 800 horsepower is pretty much fun to drive. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, we have a couple high horsepowers now, so we know what they're like. <laughs> Rick is understated, but folks, 800 horsepower, booyah!